Hello, everyone. Thank you for coming back and tuning into the Feed the Soul podcast with your host, Alejandro Soler. Uh, the whole purpose and my mission of this podcast is to inspire, to educate, and to feed the soul. Uh, but just by giving people a platform to tell their stories, their journeys, and their life, and to see just how uh, people are just doing right now in this type of age. So my guest for today is going to be... Oh, my God. I just read... Wait, is it Erica? Alvarez, is that oh, your... No, that's my sister's name i'm so sorry <laughs> okay i was like oh uh, because she I was uses like, this computer for her zoom meetings and it's her name i'm sorry <laughs> i'm sorry karen i, I was like i was gonna say karen and then it was it says erica on the screen so i'm like wait a minute have i have i been saying your name wrong the entire time no <laughs> you said no me you said my name right karen all right so karen alvarez uh thank you so much for coming on karen how how are you been yeah thank you so much for having me really i'm so excited um I've been I've been pretty good doing pretty good um you know I'm just back at home for uh this semester this fall semester taking online school you know and that's just uh going probably like how it's going for everybody else <laughs> yeah um, do you want to give a little quick introduction about yourself so the viewers get to know you a little better yeah so I am a marketing major at UTD I'm a sophomore and um, I'm also a golfer. I play golf on the on the women's team at UTD. Uh, and I moved here from Venezuela when I was uh, before I turned 15. Awesome. Yeah, I, I love the I keep forgetting you're from Venezuela. I thought you were from Colombia for whatever reason. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, no, no. And when I posted because I went to Mexico, everyone thought like, I was like Mexican and now I was like. <laughs> <laughs> now let's transition to a little bit about, uh, you mentioned being back at home. So you decided to stay at home for this semester. How has it been uh, your experience just doing online school? Yeah, so so the reason why I decided to do it home, I was just, um, all my classes were gonna be online and I didn't wanna have to pay housing when I didn't even have to be there and when golf was canceled, so that those were like the main reasons why you know um do you, do you remember when golf was canceled by any chance like did you remember we, it was like a specific point in time yeah well uh it was when like the university like just closed down sent everyone home uh in march you know uh during spring break um like a week after that uh my coach just like got everyone together and told us hey yeah our next tournaments are canceled and we're going to see if maybe we still have our conference, but then we ended up not having anything for the rest of that semester and uh, not having anything for for this semester either. So, Was there another reason that made you stay at home or was it just because like golf was canceled and like you didn't really have like you didn't have to be on, on campus? Yeah, well, I mean, I didn't have to be on campus, so I didn't have to be spending the money. So mainly it was like financial reasons. You know? <laughs> I was like, hey, I get to not pay any housing at all. So that's, that's now, why. Now, I hate using this word, but I guess I just don't have like any other way to like word it correctly. But do you have like any regret or like kind of wish like you were back on campus? Or do you like completely like are happy with like just staying at home? <laughs> I am not completely happy with staying at home. <laughs> I mean, I don't really know if I if I regret it because I don't know how different it would have been being on campus since, you know, with the pandemic, everybody has to stay inside anyway and, you know, not really meet up and classes would still be online. And it's actually easier for me to practice golf here because I, I live next to the golf course. So, I mean, I don't. I don't exactly regret it because I got to save a lot of money, but I do miss being on campus a lot. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why I don't know why I said the word regret, but like for me, like that's that was just like the easiest uh, way to phrase the the sentence because I mean I hate using the word regret because I mean everything <laughs> like everything happens for a reason. So it's like even the good and the bad, like why regret it if it pushes you to like this position in time. So um yeah, I since guess. But since you're like looking at it like in a more positive perspective, what what benefits have you gained from like just for it being like back at home? Yeah, so I actually definitely think there are a lot of benefits. Like 
I like the fact that I can just listen to the recording of a lecture instead of being there at that time. So I think Faith talked about it on the last podcast of, about like self pacing, but also because I get to put the playback playback speed at like twice the speed. <laughs> so I actually have to sit there for like an hour and 15 minutes. I can just be there for like half. <laughs> I love um, that. Yeah, that, that definitely saves so much time because I, I hate to admit it, but I haven't been attending <laughs> as many <laughs> classes as I, sh- as I should be because of that recording. So I definitely feel you on that one. Yeah, yeah. But um, I mean, honestly, um, I'm still enjoying my classes. Like, I really like the professors I picked, and I really like what I'm. I really like what I'm learning. And and my most of my classes, like uh, digital marketing, uh, and um, also accounting. Like I'm 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 liking accounting, um, even though it's the one that I you know, watch the recorded lectures for the most. But yeah, I have interesting professors and they just, uh, they've been like saying a lot of interesting things. Um. <laughs> now, like since you're able to practice uh, near like your house, uh, how often have you been able to like practice? Like, have you just increased it since like you don't have a season really? Uh, well, I've been trying to practice every every day, but I mean, I've always been trying to practice every day, <laughs> ever since, you know, I, technically ever since I got, like, more serious about golf, but um, I go every day to the range when, when, when it doesn't rain, you know, when there's good weather, uh, and then I play every weekend, um, and honestly, uh, I'm practicing less than when I was at school, you know, because at school there was a team practice and it was like yeah let's go and we have tea times ready for us so we can like go whenever we want to play the 18 holes um yeah and also you know I mean mainly it's about motivation just being at home and like kind of feeling isolated like motivation really just goes like down (laughs) how is like how is uh, feeling isolated brought down your motivation because this is what I went through during the summer so I want I want to hear more about it like um what what specific about isolation like makes your motivation go down I mean well okay so honestly during like this quarantine like something that I'm sure like so many people have like come to realize um but I mean I'm kind of like a little like in shock like by how much like I didn't know this before but like human interaction is so important (laughs) like wow (laughs) it really is like I mean for stress for for anything human interaction really like just makes your life better you know humans were made to interact with other people so isolation um or like I don't that sounds so harsh but you know being away from campus um and like all the friends that that we made there it's just um makes you feel like like very distant like there isn't much meaning also to like the every day as much as like there was before so I mean is it because like like, every day kind of feels the same way or is yeah I mean yeah like every every day like you just gotta stay like kind of like you know inside and not see other people and it just makes it you know hard have you been able to hang out with any friends near your house or like not really like you've been like staying more isolated than most other people have been so like I mentioned like I've been going to the golf course every day right and I I have friends there (laughs) um so I'm friends with like all the all the guys that well all the like working I don't know how am I how do I word this all the people who work there I'm friends with all the people who work there there we go (laughs) um you know and like I play every weekend with with my friends um there um and I also uh took up like a babysitting job uh so I I do have been having human interaction so it's not it's not that bad like um I've been babysitting every week like three to four days um for just like an hour but 
I mean, it's, it's better than like just being completely isolated because that's where I was at for like, I want to say a good couple of months. My parents did not let me go outside once, once yeah. like uh, quarantine kind of like hit us, hit us. So um, yeah. yeah, that's interesting because my, my motivation levels went straight down. I, I could not do yeah. anything. So yeah. I, I can not imagine. I feel like it happened to everybody. You know, COVID just like hit us so hard. Um, you know, like no more friends in college, you know, no more golf for me like this season and and it's just like wow the really everything's just gone I had an internship plan that was canceled oh. I had my cousin's wedding that ended up being canceled in Italy and I hadn't seen like all my family was going to be there and I haven't seen them in a while so I was, I was really looking forward to it and then you know <laughs> all gone <laughs> yeah all of our plans got thrown away because of COVID it's crazy but I mean, like, has there really been something like uh, something that kind of blew you away, like from all the negatives that COVID uh, like took away from you? Is there something like you gained from it? Like a blessing in disguise, I guess you would say. Yeah, I think I think definitely like like with everything, you know, the silver lining, like I think I've been able to focus a lot on uh, on my mental health, um, you know, with all the uh, being isolated and like trying to gain back motivation um uh what what about you what do you for me uh I guess just being closer with my friends you know um I used to think of myself as like um I don't know how to describe it I knew I could I always knew that I didn't need to have a lot of people uh close to me because I know I can survive on my own if that, I don't know, I guess that, that sounds kind of depressing, but like, I just knew, I know how <laughs> no, to like, ha- I know that I have fun, like just being who I am, like by myself. I always figured out a way to like make the best out of every situation. Then COVID hit and I was, I was, I felt super isolated. I felt so far out of touch, like from my friends. Uh, we were all over the place because of, uh, what was it? Because we weren't allowed to be back at campus. So that definitely threw me off. Um it's crazy to think that I, I still think of myself as a freshman because I never, we never got like that freshman, like goodbye, like moving out of like the dorms. It was like, Hey guys, I'm moving out this day because they're kicking us out. Uh, yeah. So it's, it's crazy to think like we, we kind of lost like that part of the year. Um, but for me, I'd say it's just like realizing how important friends are and especially during those tough times. Um, and then just taking, I don't know. Cause the way I see COVID it's like, it's God's once in a lifetime opportunity to like hit pause on life and then just take a step back and look at what you're doing with your life, if that makes any sense. So like for me, I really questioned for the first time what I was doing. Um, yeah. Like I didn't, I was just kind of going through the motions. I never really had a goal in life or anything like that. And then COVID hit, I'm like, what am I doing with my life? Like, am I wasting my <laughs> life doing like going the path that I'm going right now? Uh, no, totally. like me too like I was asking myself questions like why like am I taking this path in life like what is life for? <laughs> like, you like know? why why am I still in school why am I studying uh supply chain not in a bad way or anything but like, I was like am I doing everything like for me or am I doing it just to like make my parents happy or something like that you know yeah. so like I never like thought of like I never took a time in my life. That was really the first time like, I actually questioned everything. And I guess that, that I mean, the blessing in disguise would be uh, I got closer to my friends, especially when I came back on campus. And obviously, like the podcast, I would never would have started the podcast if it wasn't for that. So yeah, you, know, you, you go through hell and back. But I mean, something good came out of this. Now I actually have like something outside of like the gym and school and like hanging out with friends to like look forward to do like being able to talk to interesting people, meeting new people, and then just hearing uh, stories about like how people get to certain parts in their life. Like for me, I never would have found that interesting. And then everything that goes with the podcast, like promoting it on social media, analytics on social yeah, media, marketing, <laughs> yeah, marketing, like I've never, like I've never been introduced to anything like this before. So like for me, it's like all of this stuff is like, so new and so fresh and so interesting like it generally makes me happy to do uh so like i guess for me i got i got a lot of blessings in disguise from 2020 
let's just say. Yeah, that. And, and you wouldn't have known that you know you love this doing this if you hadn't like ever tried it. You know. So yeah. Like, got the opportunity to like just make something. And I remember I was I was talking to a friend and I still remember the first video I put out. I was like, man, this is this is the worst idea I've ever done. Like it's <laughs> cringy. I don't know what I'm doing. And then I remember a, like a bunch of my friends were like supporting me in the comments. I'm like, yo, this is kind of cool. Like, like, I hope to see you like uh, succeed and everything. I'm like, man, like, you know what, like maybe, maybe I should just go through with it. So, you know, like just the importance of having friends around and everything, especially during those times, it's, it's, yeah. it's a blessing in disguise. And I, I always took advantage of it. And I, now I just don't want to take advantage or I guess I don't want to take everything that I have right now for granted. I want to take advantage of everything that I have now instead of you know like possibly lose it all the next day or something because now like COVID has also shown me that you can lose everything like within the next day you can lose a family member a friend anything uh so now it's like try not to take it granted for anything and just take advantage of every opportunity that I can so like now I'm being more social with like my friends the podcast obviously that got me more like extroverted uh trying to just meet as many people as possible you know I, it's 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 been a real blessing in disguise 2020 uh even though it's probably been not the greatest year for a lot of people so i i really can't complain that much yeah and, and you're bringing a lot of you know positivity you know out there so yeah that's that's, that's the thing because i love i love being able to spread positivity to people because i don't know for me i've always been like a happy kid i've never really been like <laughs> I've never been like a troubling kid or anything like that. So yeah, no, I can see. <laughs> <laughs> like, I love to have fun. I love to spread joy and positivity. And, you know, like I never thought of myself like being like a person that could change anything. But, you know, like if I can make someone's day or, or if I can make someone smile or laugh or like just feel a little bit more inspired or better about themselves, it's like that's the whole point of all of this. So like if I can do that, then I've made my mission complete. Yeah, no, and, and honestly, I wish I could also do, you know, like what you did. And I mean, I'm trying, I'm working on it. There's like, there's actually like, also like during this time, there's just been so many things that I've like come up with um, in my head that I want to do. Um, and I've written them all down. I have them all written down as like a list of things that I want to do at least, you know, before I die or something, but <laughs> I, it's, it sounds like a bucket list, but it's more like, you know, like passion project ideas. Um, but, um, you know, it's like, it's like this podcast that you made, like, I, I want to be able to also just make things like create things. And, and that's really like, you know, what shows, you know, who you are, your values, your skills. That, it makes you stand out from the crowd. I never realized that. I, yeah. I was, I always thought of myself like, oh, every single opportunity is going to come to me. Like I, I'm different than everyone. No, it it no. really ain't, it really isn't like that. No, no uh, this passion but product is definitely you gotta go get it. You know, you gotta you gotta go get it. You gotta go put in the work. And then like this podcast, I mean, everyone will make fun of me like, oh, that's feed the soul. He's gonna plug in his YouTube channel or whatever. And it's like, yeah, but now it's like it's really a part of who I am. Like I'm just a walking marketing person now. But I like how you brought up I like how you brought up a passion project because that's like the main reason why I wanted to have you on. I remember I posted something on social media uh, about like how important it is to do the things that you love and be with like the people that you love. Uh, and then you actually commented saying that it is actually more like you disagree. And that is actually more important to <laughs> You're actually so surprised. make sense. I was surprised. I was like, okay, well, it was a surprise because I didn't think like anyone would say that, but you were like, actually, this is wrong. I meant to, uh, no, 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 I meant to, <laughs> I didn't mean it was wrong or anything. So yeah no <laughs> but you were saying oh, oh yeah you weren't saying it was wrong but you were saying it is more important to actually make things and show experience through passion projects I want you to explain a little bit more about like what you mean by this because I feel like a lot of people definitely miss out on many opportunities because they don't have like a passion project or something on the side outside of school yeah no and, and like we should talk about this I think uh, in the context of like trying to get a job <laughs> you know because that's what we're all trying to do here in uh, college and well you know we're, we're all wanting to get a job but um and you know it's not easy it's 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 hard um even if you like graduate uh from college and get a bachelor's degree um 
like there's actually this statistic that like 115,000 something janitor or janitors have a bachelor's degree or more um and I'm just ringing that up because um just having a bachelor's degree now doesn't really mean as much as it used to because you know the job market is so saturated right now it's, even if you like you know have your bachelor's your master's if you if that's the only thing you have if you don't stand out from the crowd like we're talking about then um I don't want to like scare anybody but it's just it's it's, it's hard you got to you know try to stand out at least um even if that means sacrificing like your grades like you don't have to have a 4.0 as long as you have something that actually makes you stand out because you know how how many like uh finance students with a bachelor's degree are there out there you know how are you going to stand out um and so this all uh mainly comes from uh, a guest speaker that was uh, in my OBHR class, human human resources class, whose name was Marcelo Summers, um, and he uh, talked about a concept called the craftsman theory against the passion theory, and that is like that is what you were talking about. You know, the passion theory is find something you love to do, and it'll bring you happiness. That's what, you know, that's what everyone thinks. That's what I thought yeah. before before this man, like, came to our class, just, like, completely, you know, um, put that in a whole different perspective. Um, the craftsman theory is saying kind of the opposite of that, which is what, like, so many people believe, you know. You know, if you like something, like, you'll be happy doing it, you know. Um, the craftsman theory says do um uh, like develop a skill set that is really good develop like mastery of something and happiness will follow um and it's actually like kind of been proven to make more people happy if you're good at something rather than if you like something and, and try to you know uh, make that your job like a lot of people in America are dissatisfied with their jobs. So um, if you think about it, it, it like, it makes sense. I mean, um, like, I like the idea of, of playing guitar, but I'm so bad at it right now because I'm like starting that I really don't enjoy it. You know, it does not bring <laughs> me happiness at all. <laughs> um, and uh, if you think about it, like, let's say actually you like really like uh, finance or, or accounting or something like you actually just really like it most entry-level jobs like won't be like that so you'll you like you won't be happy if that's what your mindset is um and you don't have to agree with this at all you know I don't agree with it fully uh myself but what I, can I, agree, I can agree to it to a certain extent yeah to a certain extent but but what I do agree with fully you know is that the craftsman theory basically says what can I offer the world instead of what the world, what can the world offer me? Which is what we think about when we're like, hey, like, how can I, like, what can the world, like, give me to be happy? Like, what can I be, what can I do that I'm passionate about that will make me happy? Instead, is like, what can I do for other people? And that will make you happy. Once you, like, start creating things, you know, like your podcast, or let's say, like, you know, um, someone blogs or just like making things in general like you had also another you had Megan on your podcast who who makes art right um yeah so she like she went and did it um she made it like a business for herself um and now I mean I, I guess I don't know if she's happy <laughs> doing it but she probably she probably is since she's doing it and um uh I just I really think that is like a great way to think about things. Uh, if you think I want to make things to to help other people, I want to create things, you know. And it doesn't have to be something like you didn't know you'd be passionate about your podcast, right? Yeah, but I never really knew. <laughs> you, you just tried it. You just took a risk. So, yeah. Even if you know it might mean that you get a B in your classes, 
um, you can you should take the risk and just make things. It'll it'll make you stand out for sure. So, but like I can also like counter argue a little bit. So like let's say like you want to play guitar. I I've been trying to play guitar for a little. I mean I took a break from it because I don't have it back on campus mm -hmm. with me. But like let's say you really want it. Like you're super passionate about the guitar. Like how how passionate are you about it? Um. Uh, pretty pretty passionate like I wish you know I like music I want to be able to, to would you like because if because the way I see things it's like the only thing that's standing in front of your success is yourself so if you if you're really that passionate about being like a musician or like being a guitarist um who's to say that you can't make it as big as like like a mainstream artist or something like that. Like no, that's, yeah, that's no. And, and if that's what your, uh, like your goal would be. Now people would say like, yeah, I want to be a mainstream artist, but they won't like put in the work or they're not as dedicated or they're not like as disciplined to get to that point. That's when, that's when I say like, that's why I say it's more important for you to do what you love and be with the people that you love because at the end of the day, you'll be happy with what you're doing. And if when you because for me I'm not as disciplined when it comes to things that I don't like but when it comes to things like this like a podcast or like going to the gym being with friends I'm very dedicated I'm very disciplined to like spending time doing the things that I love and eventually I know that I will succeed like for the podcast I know I'll get to a certain level of subscribers or viewers one day but it'll take I know I have to sacrifice a couple of years to get to that point I know not everyone has that type of mentality or discipline to get to that point, but I'm willing to put in the work day in and day out, whatever it takes to get to that point. So that's why I say do what you love because eventually dis discipline will become a little easier for you uh, to find the success that you want. But then again, I also see what you're saying about um, find a skill set that you're good at and then excel in it, be the best at it and compare to everyone else because you will find I mean, as long as you're able to enjoy it at least a little, some joy will come out of it. And then who knows, you never know what could happen with it. But my whole, the whole point of my podcast is to push people in the direction of, you know, I mean, I guess I, I guess I do push them in both. It's really up to the person itself, but I'm definitely more about find what you love and why not make it into something that you can do for the rest of your life or right. continue right. to do yeah. and push yourself to do. I, and I don't necessarily like the what you were talking about so the craftsman theory like has like craft in it right and it's just saying that if you um like if you develop your craft so if you like actually become really skilled at guitar happiness will like come from that like if you are the best at something you that will make you happy that's what it, that's what it says um and, and like I said like I, I agree to it to an extent too, because I do think definitely like do what you love, but the problem is like a lot of people don't know what that is, you know? And it's That's hard true. to figure out, especially in college. Like, I don't, I don't know. I remember like trying to pick a major and I was like, I don't even know like what I you know, <laughs> really like. So, um, I mean, really that's, that's why the craftsman theory like is different because, you know, passion, theory assumes that you know you're we're passing like you already know so just go like for that but passing is like take something maybe it's something you think you will love and then you know make the best out of it so but yeah what I what I like most about it like like I told you is just the fact that if you create things if you take initiative take risks you know um it it doesn't even have to be a project outside of school honestly um like there are classes that offer projects that like my digital marketing class has a Google ad campaign project. And I mean, I'm having like so much fun with it really. We're, it, it's for a nonprofit um, restaurant. Um, and just, I mean, what I'm saying is like, don't take it lightly, you know? Like I think a lot of people class projects and stuff they're like oh let me just like half-ass it get the grade yeah. but I mean if you actually take it seriously um you can make something and you can you can learn a lot from it you can show it so the main part of it is like when you make things you can actually show them especially to like you know potential employers 
and uh, and stand out um, to get a job. <laughs> <laughs> but that also goes back to like what I said, like you just have to be like for me, if it was like for a class that I just did not like, I I know I say like take it <laughs> take advantage of every single opportunity that I get, but I know in reality I'm not going to be able to take full advantage of every opportunity. So I guess it also just depends on the person as well and what class, like well in your in that example. But I don't know. I guess we're gonna have to like agree to disagree, but we also like agree to like each other's points in a way. I guess it's just finding yeah. the balance of like. I think, you know, I think we. I honestly think we do agree, but it's just like we're trying to take like different. <laughs> Positions. different sides of it yeah we're like being like you know but um um was it, wait I forgot what I was gonna say but, but um, for the pa the passion project do you have like how would I like do you have any advice for someone who's thinking about like like who maybe might see this and be like oh maybe I want to find a passion project to do like what do you have like any advice for them like to see like what they might be interested in or like any like any advice at all yeah I mean um you probably have had like ideas in the past of something that you think like would be cool to do or like you know you'd be interested in so I mean it's really hard to just take the first step and like decide okay let me just go in and do this um like really like for me I it's, it's super hard. Like I said, like I have things I want to do, but to actually do them, you know, it takes, you know, it's an investment, your time, your money uh, sometimes. So, I mean, I think I'd say, you know, take the risk because it, it's going to be worth it if you actually put um, everything into it. Like if you actually make the, a passion project, what's called, you know, and in the end, you know, it can help you get, I mean, if what you want is a job, it can help you get a job or, or anything else that, I mean, you don't necessarily um, like have to want a job. You can just want to do like something else that your passion project will like help you achieve or, you know, like a stepping stone, something to give you more experience to help you learn and grow. I don't think I could have worded it any better than that. So thank you very much. <laughs> Now, before we end the podcast, I want to know how you are enjoying uh, your life so far. Like, um, that sounds so weird to say, but like your journey so far in life. And I also want to ask uh, one last question as well is, do you, do you have one advice that you feel is important that everyone should live by as of right now, like they should implement now instead of later on? Yeah. Um, so I guess uh, my advice could be you know, be, be kind to other people, but also be kind to yourself first, you know, um, it's so important to, to be, you know, healthy mentally and, and physically, but, you know, really just, just take care of yourself, especially, you know, when the times are like pretty harsh, like right now, but also, uh, you said like, how have I been enjoying my journey? so far in life um like you said earlier you know everything happens for a reason um and I've, I've honestly been been enjoying it a lot I guess it's, it's weird to say but there's always ups and downs I literally I feel like my life is just like so one week I'm like super happy super you know super glad to be where I'm at and like super confident in things and then the the next week I'm like oh my god I don't know what I'm doing like you know this is terrible uh I just want to you know watch tv all day and not do anything <laughs> so I mean it just yeah it just feels like a roller coaster sometimes but as long as I like kind of remember you know to like the most important thing for me is to be happy right because like what it, what else you know is there like nothing matters more than than your happiness so as long as you remember to you know just keep doing your best like everything will turn out good everything will turn out good that's how we're gonna end the podcast <laughs> right there before we end the video completely do you want to have uh, like a shout out to anyone like your team or like any friends or any last words before we end off the video 
yeah, well, well, for my team, yeah, I'm excited to like see them again when everything starts again. And uh, I would just want to shout out um, to my family, I guess, which I get to see every day now. <laughs> but you know, I mean, I won't eventually. So yeah, I mean, thank you, thank you so much for having me. Honestly, of it was course. it was really fun. It was really fun. I enjoyed it. I'm glad. I'm glad. I had a lot of fun as well. But that is how we're gonna end the video right there. So. Uh, thank you all to who stayed to the very end. And thank you for all the support that you guys have been giving me. I hope to see you guys in next week's podcast and make sure to check it out on Spotify and Apple Music as well. Unless you guys want to stick to YouTube as well. I'm perfectly okay with that. So I'll see you guys next week. Take care, guys.